Patricio Pitbull versus AJ McKee just went down at Bellator 263. McKee defeated Pitbull in the first round via standing guillotine choke. Look at the finish, the champion in round one. I made a mistake in not going after him. He's out. He's out. Bellator president Scott Coker reacted with these emojis. Daniel Cormier says AJ McKee is that dude. My goodness. He followed up with happy for Antonio McKee and AJ McKee. These cats had a plan and stuck with it. They did it out of his father's gym too. Absolutely amazing Los Angeles loves that kid. Congratulations champ. Winning a grand prize changes your life. Interested to see what the future holds for AJ. Ben Askren says wow crazy impressive for McKee. Jake Paul reacted saying AJ McKee would kill 2015 McGregor. Deron Wynn says Jesus AJ McKee. This dude is the truth. Derek Brunson says AJ McKee just put that thing on Pitbull. Super dope moment for his father Antonio McKee. And Ariel Hawani says McKee stunned Pitbull with a left head kick. He briefly celebrated prematurely, thinking Pitbull was done, but then finished the job with a standing guillotine. To appreciate that fully is to understand the role Pitbull has been on. Supremely impressive stuff from AJ. It was surreal, man. Everybody, I appreciate y'all for coming out and supporting from the bottom of my heart. This is for y'all. This is for LA, baby. We bring you championships home. Are y'all not satisfied? What's up? For real. <laughs> Definitely. Max Holloway is one of my dream fights. Um, Brian Ortega put me in a triangle when I was 19, so I got to get that get back one day. Uh, <laughs> nothing personal, but hey, put me in a triangle. You know what I mean? I got to tap me out, dog. I got to get that get back. That's, that's mandatory. So, uh, <laughs> And this isn't just jujitsu this time, you know what I mean? We're gonna be punching and kicking, so. Um, Volkanovski, I'll send him back to rugby, man. This is, this is, this is a different sport, you know? Yeah, he's a champ, but I've been doing this my whole life. He was good at rugby. I'm great at fighting, and I just feel like that's what sets me apart from all these other ordinary fighters. Yeah, I'm a lot to get used to. Yeah, yeah, just, oh, I don't even know what to do with myself right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sean Strickland reacts to his victory over Uriah Hall. I feel good, you know. I'm, yeah, I feel good. I, I usually put things behind me after they're done. I'm just, it's in the rearview mirror, man. Move on to the next one. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm an MMA fighter. I'm a great wrestler. I'm great on the ground. I don't necessarily need a game plan because I could do it all. I don't, I don't have to game plan. If you want to wrestle, we'll wrestle. If you want to kickbox, we'll kickbox. You know, I will say in the third round, he was like throwing some heat when I kind of let off the gas just because I was like, I'm curious to see how long this continues. And then the fourth and fifth, I, once I started actually walking into him, he was just, you know, he had no more dog in him. I tried, I mean, I, he was dripping blood. I tried, I was throwing him, he, he just, you know, he got in a position where I couldn't land any hard shots. And I tried, I didn't learn how to hit harder. I should have pressured him more. I kind of stood too much at range. You know, I should have, I should have kept walking into him and making a fight. Like if you look at the last fifth round, my hardest shots were when, we, when we were head to head. So, you know, a little cowardice on my part, staying at range, lesson learned. I don't care. I mean, it, I'm, I've been training for 15 years. I turned pro at 16. I mean, I've been doing this for so long, you know. It's, everybody knows I'm not an easy fight. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how good you are. I was fun. It was fun. The last the last fifth round was really like a kind of hit you in the lungs a little bit. We're like, oh, man, this is a fight. This is a five round fight. So, yeah, it was fun. I liked it. Yeah, you know, I'll go back, um, take a few weeks off, let the body heal up and then um, my buddy Aaron Jeffries is on the contender, so you know I'm gonna put a lot of focus into getting him in the UFC. But uh, the moment he's done, I'll be getting back into it. Here is Dana White's latest edition of Fuck It Friday. What's up, everybody? Fuck It Friday, the Grease edition. Uh, I am here at Mikos Grease with Chef Valentina aboard the Opari, and she has made. Uh, you know, we kept the Greek, so this these are called feta sticks. All right, you're gonna start with some feta sticks, flour. Some egg wash, which is basically you, you beat the eggs with some water, crushed cornflakes, crushed walnuts, white sesame seed, black sesame seed, you 
You're going to take them, put them in the fryer for four minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. You take them out, put some honey on top of it, some dried fig, and some green shit. And here we go. I'm going to give it a shot. I don't know what I didn't play it. I don't like walnuts. Oh no! <laughs> and that's awesome. That's awesome. Easy to make. And I like it. Thumbs up for the fat fish and grease. Francis Ngannou does the body shot challenge again. Oh my God, this guy doesn't feel anything. <laughs> Michael Bisping on the Believe You Me podcast discusses the potential fight between Gilbert Burns and Leon Edwards. Bisping says that he heard Leon wants to take more time off and Bisping does not think it's a good idea. Gilbert Burns is calling out Leon Edwards. They've got to do that. And whoever wins that fight gets to fight Colby or, or Kamaru or whoever wins, probably Kamaru. Again, that's the perfect way to do it. But then I'm just hearing, because I was chatting with the BT Sport crew before we were talking about this. Uh, Leon Edwards is apparently taking some time out. Doesn't want to fight again until next year. And I was like, what the f***? Yeah, he's Leon Edwards out. needs. He's just had two years out, and he's saying he's taking some time out. It's crazy. Uh, I, I, I'm a fan. I'm a countryman. I like the way he fights. I think he's technically brilliant, but I do believe, with respect, unless there's something going on in the background that I don't know about, if there's some kind of family thing, or maybe he has an injury or whatever. You know, maybe maybe there is something like that. Maybe he's injured, but he doesn't want to say and be public. If that's the case, then fair enough. But if he's just taking a little bit of time out on the sidelines. Uh, you got to strike when the iron's hot, man. Okay, you just beat Diaz, and there was a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, scary moment in the fifth round. But whatever, you beat him. It was a decisive victory. <clears throat> Continue to grow off that momentum. Don't disappear again for a while. That's gonna wrap it up for the news. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to Full Mount MMA and click the bell icon to be notified when we post future ones. Here are the three top comments from last video. The first one says UK police are more interested in memes that people post instead of investigating grooming gangs. The second one says Darren's stock went up. If anything, he's going to gain more fans for not being afraid to get canceled. And the final one says, I definitely support Darren Till on this. Too bad freedom of speech is not allowed in England. Those were the three top comments from last video. If you want to be featured on the next one, all you have to do is comment down below. Also be sure to check out the other types of MMA content we post on this channel. Click either of the two videos on the screen right now.